I'm Robin Dow. I'm in the Molecular Cellular Developmental Biology Department at Boulder, at least that's my primary appointment. I have a secondary appointment in computer science there. My background is very much sort of the intersection of computer science and engineering and biology. And we are moving very rapidly into a shift in medicine. The falling cost of genome sequencing is making it such that very soon it will be cheap and easy to sequence everyone in this room. Unfortunately, the utility of that sequence and how well it can be used for medicine is still somewhat in question. Um, for example, even with very closely related individuals, it's difficult to tell when a specific variation or a change in that sequence between you and your sibling might actually have some impact in you medically. So for example, the first readout of the, the genome is in transcription. Transcription, we now know a large part of the genome is transcribed, even parts that we have no idea what they do yet. Um, and we know that developmental processes and various physiological aspects of your body depend on very complicated patterns of transcription being established within the cells, but we have no idea how to predict transcription from sequence alone. We know the sequence encodes it, but we don't know how it reads it out. So my lab with this wonderful grant from the Betcher Foundation and Web Warning, I don't think very much, um, is going to be building computational models using information that we already know about the system, large publicly available data sets, and we will also be generating sort of big cross-sectional data sets between closely related individuals with the goal of eventually trying to predict when a particular region of the genome is transcribed and utilized by the cell. Um, I want to thank the Betcher Foundation, thank the Web Warning, Trustees, um, this is a wonderful opportunity. <laughs>